Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 14.7 is almost out for the general public. Today, Apple has officially released iOS 14.7 RC release candidate for registered developers. And Apple themselves has hinted on when we can expect an official release for this software, which is less than a week from today. We'll get to some of the details here in just a few seconds. iOS 14.7 brings a handful of new features and improvements and some really important bug fixes as well. But aside from iOS 14, 14.7. Apple also today released macOS Big Sur 11.5 RC is available. iPad OS 14.7 RC is available. Watch OS 7.6 RC is available. And of course, TV OS 14.7 RC. So everything got updated across the board. And you may be thinking, well, iOS 15 is also in beta testing. But yeah, iOS 14.7 will be the software running on most devices until mid to late September. So keep that in mind. This software is very important for those of you that are not testing the beta. And a lot of you guys are not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look on iOS 14.7. And first, I want to talk about the latest build number because the latest build number, there it is, 18G. 68 and that's going to be pretty much the official final build in terms of the latest software now this one brings improvements to the apple ecosystem in terms of the home pods we also have some updates to apple card air quality podcast and so much more but apple today announced a brand new product a new battery pack for the new iphone 12 models which is now available and you can purchase the battery pack right now on apple's website it isn't available for pickup in stores just yet but apple has one for the iphone 11 as you can see right here the difference between the new one and this one is this one is an actual battery case the new one is a battery pack which you attach magnetically to the back using magsafe it is 100 bucks it is all sides fits all so you can use it from iphone 12 mini all the way to the biggest iphone 12 pro max and uh, yeah that's now available but with that apple also announced that compatibility for that new product is scheduled with ios 14.7 next week which means we should see iOS 14.7 officially be released to everyone within a week from today or before that. So maybe on the 19th, maybe six days from now at the latest uh, on the 20th, which is uh, exactly a week from today. So Apple, yeah, announced a new product and says that new product in order for it to work, it has to be on an iPhone with iOS 14.7. So that means 14.7 is coming within less than a week alongside, of course, the new Apple battery pack, which of course I picked one up. I'll be unboxing here on the channel and sharing all the details. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Now, aside from the new MagSafe product announced today, Apple today also announced the new software update for the Apple Card family, an additional option that allows you to combine credit limits and share one code account with another user. So if you have an Apple Card, you can share that card now with another iOS user that's on the same family circle. So that's new as well. Now for the HomePods, as I mentioned, there's also some minor updates alongside iOS 14.7. We now have the ability to set multiple timers and control those timers directly within the home application for your home pods my home pods are currently being updated but this new option will allow us to actually set multiple timers for the home pod now in addition apple has also added air quality for the weather and maps application in new regions so now the air quality index is available for weather and maps in canada France, Italy, Netherlands, South Korea, and Spain. So that's a new option that's now available on 14.7 with the weather and the maps application. Also, podcast received a quick update. As you can see here, we have the splash screen. You now get a new update for the podcast application that allows you to choose whether you see all shows available or only the shows that you follow on the podcast application so that's also great news now there's also some great bug fixes coming with ios 14.7 as well uh, number one adobe atmos and lossless audio within apple music for some reason for some users it wasn't working and if it started working it would pause the music halfway through if you were having issues with lossless it's adobe atmos and even spatial audio 14.7 aims to fix that issue now another issue for iphone 11 models in particular if you saw a 
battery service update message and the battery section here and you rebooted your iPhone like this one here important battery message right here this one says recalibrating if you rebooted your iPhone and that message disappeared 14.7 uh, will actually fix that so if your battery does need service your iPhone will tell you as it should and last but not least there's also major uh, fixes coming to Wi-Fi with 14.7 so if you connected your iPhone to a Wi-Fi network that included the percentage symbol within the name of the network this will actually disable your Wi-Fi entirely on your iPhone for whatever reason that's something that Apple has officially fixed but for whatever reason that would completely hinder your Wi-Fi and you couldn't enable Wi-Fi so as I mentioned 14.7 is going to be launching alongside MagSafe a battery pack that Apple has just announced so stay tuned for the software updates coming your way here shortly thank you for watching this quick update and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.